athletes around the world make goodwill hospital visits, but Alba Berlin guard Heiko Shafatik might be unique among them in knowing just how much those moments mean to the patients. Long before Shafatik ever made such a visit, he received one from Alba players as a teenage cancer patient himself. Shafatik was 13 years old and training at a camp for top young players in Berlin when his world turned upside down. I felt really tired and had a headache and so my parents, my father who was a doctor, took me to make some blood tests and everything and then they uh, diagnosed it, the leukemia. During nine months of chemotherapy treatments, Shafatsik was focused on making it back to basketball. I took this, this uh, illness, leukemia, I took it as an injury phase. So I asked them how long would it take and everything, they told me half a year or three quarters of a year. So in my head I was thinking that I could play for the runner-up for the national championship, you know, like the preliminary. So I already had that in my head and that's how I went about it. I never thought like if I would get healthy, I was just thinking when. Unable to go to school or play basketball, Shafatsik cherished any moments he could spend with his teammates. You don't have to think about being in the hospital and getting chemotherapy and everything, but you have the feeling that you're like a normal kid again, at least for a while. And when Alba's stars at the time came to visit the children's cancer ward at Virkov Hospital in Berlin, the young Shafatsik's hopes were boosted. That was the first year they did it. They didn't do it because of me, but it was just coincidence, you know. Jörg Lütke and Henning Hanisch came to my room and talked to me. And I was, you know, I felt cool because I watched them play basketball so much. Fifteen years later, Shafatik is the one making visits to the same hospital and to kids who have cancer, just like he had. When I went there, it was also that the kids you know, when I told him, yeah, I used to be you, I used to be sitting right where you were sitting, and there were a lot of nurses who still remembered me, and were like, that's the kid from room six who never did what we told him to do, you know. So it was kind of, it was kind of cool, and the kids, they really, you know, their eyes lit up, and they're like, oh, so you were in here too? You know, like, wow. So there are still, I think for them, it gave them the feeling that there are possibilities, you know, what you can do even after overcoming leukemia or cancer or whatever.